We take a second step towards our trip to for Hajj. لبيك اللهم لك لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك. So our second step we take from Surah Al-An'am, ayah number one sixty two. To 163. The meaning Say, surely my prayer, my worship, my life and my death are all for Allah, lords of all worlds. He has no partner, so I am commanded, and so I am the first to submit. So it is a command to have sincerity, ikhlas, in our worship. We have, we want our hajj to have ikhlas, so that Allah can accept it, let us clean our heart with the sickness that can spoil our ibadah. We want Allah to accept our ibadah. We have to have clear and clean intention that it is purely for the sake of Allah. We embark for hajj purely for the sake of Allah. When we say, Labbaik Allahumma laka labbaik, O Allah, we answer your call. Labeka la sharika la karabek, and we don't associate with you with anything. It's only for you, and for you alone. Labeka in alhamd, and that our our sincere thanks and glorification are only for you. One neimata and all the blessings is from you. Laka wal mulk, and you and you are the owner of everything. La sharika lak, and you have no associate. And we glorify and we thank you, you alone. And we acknowledge that all the blessing you bestow on us is by you. How many people they want to go for Hajj? Some they have money, but some they they have no health. Some they have health and they have no money. Some they have both, but they were not accepted uh, for the Hajj this year. Do they really know they will see next year? Allahu alam. So we should thank Allah to be in this position. It is only by His blessing that those who are going for Hajj, they are able. They will be able to make it their trip and get there and do their Hajj with ikhlas and come back with all their sin forgiven. So, so we have the second step, as we say, it is ikhlas, sincerity. Allah wants everything purely for his sake, purely for him. The, the worst thing we can do is to associate Allah with something else. So, uh, we take the time uh, to glorify Allah, to thank Allah, to give a lot of shukr to Allah, and to know that everything is possible only by His all the naima we got is by His mercy, not because we are smart 
or we are rich or we are more we need to be more humble in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allahumma nas'aluka hujja la sum'a wa la riya Allahumma nas'aluka hujja la sum'a wa la riya Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samiul alim wa tub alayna ya maulana innaka anta tawwabur rahim Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik